So what's up? Hi y'all. Listen, I got a candle haul. And I've done this before where I did like a discounted candle haul, a Tuscany candle haul because your girl on the way to the concert and on the way back rock Kroger. Stopped in there for something else, but y'all know Kroger carry Tuscany in my area. Kroger parent store does not. If you do not know, this week up until Wednesday or Thursday in some areas, Tuscany candles are like two for 11 uh, with the digital coupon and so is candlelight. So, if you check my birthday vlog, I rocked Walgreens. Y'all know. Y'all can use these in most stores as a competitor coupon to lower your out-of-pocket. And I also had some from Food Lion. So, once I stock my freezer and I see I got excess amount of coupons left, I happen to be in that area, I'm going to go for what I know. So, I have a total a total of 10, 10 candles from Kroger. Um, eight are Tuscany and two are candlelight so candlelight they had these these are actually five dollars this week at kroger so i got two this one is uh juicy black cherries y'all the cold throw on this is amazing check my ig reel i don't know if i'm gonna do a youtube reel on my my ig reel i got it going right now Loving it so far, but it is a single wick. I did put a topper on it to burn even because sometimes these wide mouth singles, they just, the wick got to be big enough to melt. So, safe that sorry. I went ahead and got two because the cold roll was the strongest on this and I got one again going in the bedroom, y'all. This smells so freaking good. But what I'm most impressed with, Tuscany and these line of Valentine's Day candles this one is bubble bath vanilla and sea salt remember i told y'all i'm not too crazy about the tuscany marble wax their premium softer wax i like but i learned the trick to these the freaking top lamp warmer oh my god hold on let me show y'all something in my pile of empties this is one of my february empties I warmed this on the lamp till the whole thing was loose. The whole thing was liquefied about three days. This is the sweetheart cupcake that I got last year, Valentine's Day. And when I tell you this thing gave me a buttercream, like you could have actually smelled the cupcake like I was baking something under the top lamp warmer. So that's why this time around going down, I was like, go for what you know, because those that are amazing. Again, that vanilla and sea salt, that's the bubble bath. And then you have chocolate cherries. This is giving me choc a straight chocolate covered cherry, but it fe I feel like it has a mocha note in it. Cold roll? This is stronger than the positively sweet truffle from Bath and Body Works. Again, put it under the warmer and let it do what it do. And then this one right here, this is cotton, jasmine, and silk. It's called Silky Satin. It's smooth. I get the jasmine. I get the cotton. I think that's going to be my next burn. This is giving me sexy bedroom scent. It's just like, come through Tuscany. This is a good one. I feel like in my heart of hearts, this is going to be a good one. Now, in the premium wax, this is their three-wick jar. This is so pretty. This is golden rose, jasmine, and amber. This is the only one that I found in the premium wax. And I'm here to tell you, my name is Sonico T.E. Gregory, and I have a thing for rose-scented candles. When I go to pick my florals, rose scent is always top of the list. I'll burn rose year-round. Peep my Havana rose uh, reel from Aldi. If it's rose-scented, I'm going for this. This gives me sexy winter rose versus a fresh cut rose will be your more spring summer rose. This is a winter rose and the jasmine and amber. I've never seen that combination before. So I'm excited for that. And that's a three wick. I'm going to save the best for last. I should have did those in order. Anyway, they have one called date night. This is their mahogany and suede. I had this in a gray and cold throw smelled amazing but upon burning it i was like you're not giving you're not doing anything so i went ahead and picked up one again because remember we going straight to the warmer with these i don't even want to play no games with that and then i have this one right here blush bouquet this is dahlia vanilla orchid 
we all know if y'all don't know dahlia is a very assertive floral uh bath and body works dahlia that sold to a certain demographic that has an assertive uh in your face if you don't like floral then stay away from anything with dahlia a little something else you all may not know about dahlia if you're familiar with huda beauty uh she's middle eastern and her products are big in the u.s and over there Middle Eastern, they have it's an assertive, abrasive, like strong scent that they don't mind. Her resting bitch setting spray can, it was in an aerosol can, and it was to the point that it was choking people out. When you open her palettes and her makeup, she had to go back and reformulate because that fragrance was just is taking people out. Dahlia is assertive with that. So when I said Dahlia sold to a core demographic, you have to love floral. Or the Middle Eastern demographic, when we released that scent, baby, they ate it up. It was not for me. But again, you got to carry something for everybody. So we got the date night. That's the mahogany suede. And we have, I got two of these because they cold through wine and roses. Two years ago, I bought the Moroccan rose from them. And didn't know it was good the moroccan rose uh hot throw was amazing so this is just a sweet red blend this gave me that moroccan that moroccan rose theme oh my god it smells so good so my soda when i grabbed it i was like girl get another get another because i'm gonna hot throw this one and then i'm gonna have one i can warm y'all it's giving me rose but like with a merlot wine I'm getting the Merlot Life from Black Cherry Merlot, just the wine part. If you popped open a bottle of Mer a Merlot, that booziness that you get, time deep red roses. Once your roses are ready, set, this is giving me life. This is what you would call a grown and sexy scent. So I grab two. Now, if you can't decipher from what I'm saying when it comes to the two for 11, I had a five and I had a seven. That's a dollar overage. So every two I got down here, they were free. Check my old vlog when I tell y'all that's how I hustle for my Tuscany candles. For every two, I made a dollar. But the stores don't give you that dollar back. So what I did is I added on... um packs of gum to eat that dollar and then when i went to work today all those blow pop and russell stover candy from the walgreens glitch and all that gum i took and put in the back room and then as a bonus i was sent a candle by eco aroma i'm definitely gonna burn this when they asked me what i like y'all this is a rose velvet rose no noir rose and oud I'm not even going to get too deep into this with y'all because ch I'm, I'm checked my review on this. It's called Velvet Rose, but the base note of it is um, uh, Noir Rose and Oud. Grown and sexy bedroom date night Valentine coming scent. Even if you Galentine's or you single, get your judge on, get your glam on, put on something cute and treat yourself. Don't wait on a man. 10 candle haul this weekend all for the free if you check my well if y'all follow me on ig y'all y'all saw me doing some of the all detergent and the snuggle detergent the buy five save five the two dollar coupons making them free i pre-planned this trip i knew i was going to do that because when i see how my thought process go when i see it could be free i'm going for the gusto i left my bag around there uh i want i'm gonna show off my things on ig that the staff bought me i got back to work so those of you that don't know oh sorry i had um basically like the whole month of january and then like the next two weeks in february off and like some days in between there so my birthday month i always do that i always cash out i always take care of me i always take care of self if younger self could talk to older self, I would have done that long time ago. You have to do that. You have to take care of you. I'll start saving money in the like around October ish because I know coming top of the year, mama is clocking out. But when you treat people right, they do right by you. My, the staff, they love me. They got the goodies. They got me a lot of stuff prior to going on vacation and coming back because it was my actual birthday, y'all. I love my team. We work good together, we do our thing together. 
Moral of the story, treat people how you want somebody to treat you. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.